about it. The last story of the night, honey. Um, we're gonna go ahead and talk about Shamar. You better clock that. <laughs> Shamar said, "Y'all better clock it, cause he ain't playing." All right, they got my lighting, y'all. Thank you, Lord. So, Shamar fired recently, excuse me, allegedly. I have to say allegedly, but we know it's true. Shamar fired his manager, Golden, Colden, excuse me, K. Okay, she gave a little interview and um, she addressed rumors and denies allegations that she ever stole money from Shamar, okay? She was saying that, you know, when you do bookings and things like that, it's expensive, okay? So, let's say Shamar had a $2,500 night. He was booked for a $2,500 show, right? She would give Shamar $1,000 out of that, okay? And she would keep the $1,500. But she said she would have to pay for security, okay? Which is three security guards at $30 to $45 per hour. So, if, let's say they're there for four hours, okay? 30 times four, that's $120. It's really not a lot of money. Anyway, she was keeping the majority of the money is what it appeared to be, okay? And she, he fired her ass. He got her right on up out of there, honey. And baby, I don't blame you, okay? Because you don't need no thieving ass manager to fill their pockets. And you guys know Shamar last year was dealing with homelessness, stuff like that. But when you riding on the gravy train, honey, they're going to try to ride it with you. Anyways, um, Shamar was saying that she was stealing his money, okay? He wasn't getting paid, you know, the, what he was supposed to be getting paid. And as you guys can see, the numbers are not matching. So, Shamar, congratulations on getting rid of her, getting your life back, and trying to, um, you know, just find you a new manager, Okay. Just find you a new manager. You know, I don't know how much she took from you in total, but if you have to do a small claims court, uh, case or a court case, you can possibly do that if it's that serious, if you feel like you need to do that. 